One to three inches, they said. I think this is more like five or six inches, but we'll take it because we could use the moisture. That's what everybody always says. One of the problems with plowing on a sunny day is it gets real slick. Tire chains would help, and I have them, but I so rarely need them that I'm not really in the habit of putting them on 
So I just kind of develop a technique that gets me around that, mostly by only plowing downhill and not pushing very much snow in the uphill direction. Somebody once suggested that I buy a plow to put on the skid steer for moving snow around. I actually had a plow once. Matter of fact, at one point I had a great big snow blower that ran off the hydraulic unit for the skid steer. It really moved snow great, a lot of fun, but it only snowed enough to justify a snow blower like that about once every five years. As a matter of fact, when I finally sold it, I probably hadn't used it for almost eight years, and I haven't needed it since I sold it, so I'm glad I don't have the snowblower anymore. As far as the plow goes, it's kind of nice. You just push snow, and it throws it off the side of the road, but it also throws it off the high side of the road so that when it melts in the spring, it makes mud on the road or makes ice during the winter. And by using the bucket, I can be more selective about where I put the snow, which also means I can pile most of it up next to this apple tree in the winter, so it gets a really good drink of water over the winter, and that means we're more likely to have apples. Or maybe I should say it means the bears are more likely to have apples, because they don't very often leave us any. <laughs>